Hi YouTube, it's Kristen the Tank Paper Princess and um, I am sitting in my new scrapbook room that's still partially under construction but um, actually I have a few videos I need to make but first I was going to show you the projects that I made with the um, for my design team work for my creative scrapbook. I worked with the album kit again but I did not make an album. This month she asked me to just make layouts so I have four layouts here. Um, our kits had a uh, simple stories 24 7 line so um, I'll show you what I made here's one layout it's just a picture it was a selfie of me kissing my little boy on the cheek and um, the paper I used the Tim Holtz distress stain and I think picket fence and I went over it to kind of wash out some of the color because it was a really bold background and my picture wasn't standing out enough so I had a piece of pattern paper here and then a piece of pattern paper here. This was one of their little die cuts. You get the three by fours on the piece of paper. And I cut them all apart and um, made little arrows out of them. And then I used a little heart punch, put those up. Um, this is a sticker from the collection. This is another one of those three by four die cuts. And I put, I love you more every day. And then um, those were all just stickers from the collection and then that. This was a piece of paper from the collection, but in our kit we had had some, I think they were canvas hearts, and I just used those as a template to cut the hearts out for on there. So like there's one, there's one, and there's one, and then all these stickers and stuff are just part of the collection. And everything came in the kit, including the ribbon that um, I added the, the distress stain to that too, and then I just made it a banner. So that's how that one turned out. And then this one, it was a little bit more work. Um, the piece of paper, the collection came with a sheet and it was hexagons all over it. So I cut each hexagon out and then um, I used the, like after I used the rest, the mask I guess it would be, and I um, I went ahead and I drew everywhere I'd cut out. I. I drew a hexagon on the paper and then I added some hexagons that I had cut out and then like here, 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 and here, and here, and well everywhere you see that. I used the the mask as a mask and then I put um, a chevron mask on top and I just used my finger and I put some modeling paste right there. So I used the mask and then another mask and then I so I filled in some of those chevrons if that makes sense and this is titled please don't take a picture because sometimes he just gets tired of the camera always in his face and this was his please stop look mommy so um, I told that please don't take a pic um, and then here is some twine that came in the kit and then I just layered some stickers and um, this camera is a chipboard from the collection that came in the kit. So that's how that turned out. And I don't think I inked. Nope, I didn't ink, but I did distress all the edges. And on this one, I um, distressed and I inked in black. I don't know if you saw that. And then this one, uh, this one is way out of my norm. I used a cardstock, just plain white background, which I never do. Um, it has a title and journaling. Those are all three things that usually don't make it on my layouts. So um, on the cardstock, I inked it and distressed it, and then I did red and yellow and black um, splatters. And I'm pretty sure this is the SEI tumble spray. And then I journaled over here, um, and I cut circles. And this is actually the My Creative um, sketches. This was the sketch for the month. You should go check it out. Um, it's a really cool sketch and she really gives awesome prizes so um, if I remember I'll put a link below and you should go check it out um, so this layout it's titled anticipation because this is a picture of my little boy um, before the first time he got on stage and danced and he um, it was his group next and he was like watching the the other group and this was the first time and we were both pretty nervous I had no idea what was going to go on and so I titled or I journaled it was your first time you danced on stage I had no idea how you would do in front of a crowd I saw you watching the other dancers and I wondered what was going through your mind so um, 
this here. Um, the top is like a chipboard piece that came with the collection, but then I cut more banners and just kind of added them in to make it go all the way across. So this is one of my favorite layouts. I've waited a long time to scrapbook this because um, I'll just, I'll always remember this moment before he went on stage because it was kind of a big deal. And then this one, um, in the kit, you get an album. I just didn't use it. And in the album, what the album was, I think it was a Melissa Francis, and it was an envelope um, album. So I used the envelope pieces here, and I um, just as pockets on my page, and uh, I titled it Little Treasures from Sawyer, and then I added a picture of here, over here, of him um, doing his little things that he always does. And the ribbon, the buttons, and all the stickers were part of the kit. So, and this is already in a page protector. I did a tutorial on the website, which if you're interested, on how to cut your um, page protector so that, you know, you can pull out something in a pocket or something, you know, that you want to be able to have access to easily from your page protectors. So inside all these pockets are little notes that my son made, and he always is making these and um, leaving them someplace. This is really funny because these, um, he made these because he really wanted to go to the Taylor Swift concert. So these were his pretend tickets. So, um, like I said, all of these are little pockets with little cute little notes in them here. Super Kristen for me and a little I love you hearts. We get a lot of I love you's. And here he, he drew me. <laughs> so, and then again, more just, there's a house he drew and a little, oh, here's, he traced his fingers for me. So, but also on the tutorial, um, which if I remember, I'll try, I'll, I'll add a link below, but um, I covered all of these to help preserve them in contact paper. And um, you can just buy this at Walmart and probably Target anywhere. It's usually like in the place where you, they, um, like if you were gonna line your cabinet drawers or shelves, you buy like the decorative paper. Well, this is just the clear contact paper and you just um, lay it down and fold it over and then you can cut it out. And then all of these are um, nicely preserved so they won't rip. And then, and like I said, they should just slide easily into the pocket because the page protector's cut. So the link to all that will be below, hopefully, if I remember that. So those are um, what I did. Oops, shaking the table. Ah, uh, those are what I did for my creative scrapbook for the month of May. We're in May, so pretty soon I'll do June because, you know, it's about time for that too. But um, I've got a couple more. I've got a haul video I'm going to do, and then I've got another project video I'm going to do. So um, three videos in one day. Yay! So uh, talk to you later.